All right, today we're checking out the new to the USA Throne Gen 2 by Reximex. So I wasn't a big fan of Reximex. I did a video when they were at SHOT Show a couple years ago. It got like 200,000 views and they still wouldn't return my emails. But at this point in my YouTube career, I don't get offended by that stuff anymore. But they also have a reputation for copying other people's designs. Now that I've checked out the Throne Gen 2, I don't think that's true. This may look similar to an Impact, but it's definitely not an FX Impact, although it does shoot like one. I'm super impressed with the quality of the Throne 2. This gun is awesome. It's very solid. The fit and finish is sweet. The compact is great. I love everything about it. My only complaint would be it would be cool if it had a little more power. But as is, it's shooting the 14.35 grain and the 13.43 grain JSB, 890 feet per second. But there's only so much you can do with a short barrel, power-wise. If you guys want to reach out with this bad boy, just get the full-size version. They're available now at Pyramid Air. Also, the Throne Gen 2 is a multi-caliber, so you can switch this from 22 to 25 in a matter of seconds. So we'll get into all the hardcore stats, giving an up-close look at this bad boy. But first, let's do some shooting. All right, like I always do about this time, I went ahead and cleaned this with Ballastol, which is safe for air gun seals, and I used a pull-through cleaning system. So this baby's nice and clean. Check out this noise, you guys. I organized my pellets. So those are the 22. All JSB today. Let's start with the 13 grain. All right, shooting our lightest pellet at 870, so we definitely gonna need to turn this thing up. But how, that's the question. So our hammer spring's maxed out. Let me check my transfer port. Oh, there we go. Okay, so my transfer port was on medium. Let's turn that all the way to high now. Try that again. All right. One of those adjustments that doesn't really do anything. Gotta watch out for those these days. All right, one more. All right, we're gonna have to tune this thing. We know the regulator's working good, so. It's tuning time. Um, let me figure this out. So we're maxed out on the hammer spring tension adjuster. So our only choice, my friends, is to up the regulator. So we can up the regulator. Let's just zoom in right here. Right here is our regulator pressure. And it looks like we got a green zone. It got too windy to understand what I was saying, but I basically explained you can turn the regulator up when there's air in the gun. So I went ahead and turned my regulator dial until I was right up to the top end of the green zone. Now we're obviously higher up in the green. We got a little more we can go, but we'll leave it there and see what we got. I like that they put a green zone on your regulator, so you know now, if I wanted to turn it back down, I'd have to degas my entire gun. You degas it, you pull the trigger to get both gauges at zero, then you turn your regulator down past where you want it to go and turn it back up again when you have air in the gun. Well, we got 30 more FPS out of it. You know what, though? That's what we want. We want to be going about 890. Let me shoot these pellets real fast because maybe it shoots these like a laser. If not, we'll turn it up that last teeny bit and see how much power we can squeeze out of this. All right, this is very much unofficial, but we're at a special 21 yards away just to uh, test the accuracy with these lightweight pellets. We'll do official accuracy testing at 35 and 50, of course. JSB Exact Jumbo RS. Trying to pick out fairly decent ones. Pretty much every pellet in this tin is bent. So that was 892 feet per second. 889, this thing's got a great regulator. Smooth enough shooter too, but I don't know, I'm gonna, go for a group right here well, not bad duplicate all right this is good all right we're ready I'm gonna annihilate this giant bullseye it's a little too big but eight ninety one Wow, this thing's tack driving it. Boy, we're gonna have to stick with these, I think, in 896. Look at that, you guys. So, you can just side in. We're gonna be freaking drilling it. Oh, 
Well, that was just like cloverleaf hole, baby. You guys want me to ice these bullseyes real fast? Dang. This gun's freaking great to shoot. I'm not even really checking my pellets now. Oh man, this thing's a bullseye killer. So easy to shoot, you guys. Like, I got no problem holding this thing still. All right, that's like 10 or 11 shots. Boy, it's a good looking uh, scorecard right there. Am I right? All right, I'm gonna give you guys a few stats for the full-size Throne Gen 2. It's actually cheaper than the compact that we're looking at today. These are both available in 22 and 25 caliber. The full-size Throne is gonna give you 36 foot-pounds in 22. It'll hold 12 shots in 22 caliber, 10 shots in 25 caliber. As well, the full-size comes with a 425cc steel bottle and the compact, which is about $150 more, comes with a carbon fiber bottle. Shot count on the full-size version is going to be 110 shots per fill in 22, 80 shots per fill in 25. And now let's get into all the specs for this actual compact version that we're looking at today. For more information, you can check out Pyramid Air. If you use the pinned comment to find your way, I'll make 5%. The compact version is also available in 22 and 25 caliber. Looks like we're going to have 26 foot-pounds of muzzle energy in 22 caliber. 25 caliber is going to give you 32 foot-pounds. This little compact is just 35 inches long. The throne has an adjustable regulator, externally adjustable. You just don't want to turn it down when there's air in the gun, but you can turn it up. If you want to turn your regulator down, simply remove your bottle, pull the trigger a couple times to get all the air out so both of your gauges are at zero, and then turn it way down, fill it back up to its full 250 bar capacity, and then by looking at the gauge, you'll be able to raise your regulator pressure to exactly where you want it. In the back, it's got a hammer spring tension adjuster with settings, and it also has a little knob up top for your transfer port restriction. This has forward cocking right in the middle of the gun, so that's very awesome. It's a side lever, and you can change the side lever from right to left. And this knob right here is actually for changing your caliber. So if you want to change from a 22 to a 25, you just swap that barrel out and you're ready to go. It says it's got a precision target barrel. And that right there is called the Silent Force Integrated Moderator. This is definitely whisper quiet. No LDC required, but if you want to add one, it does have a one half UNF threaded muzzle. This is a 300cc carbon fiber bottle that is removable. It operates on 250 bar or 3600 PSI. You're going to get 65 regulated shots per fill in the 22 caliber and 55 shots in the 25. So that's awesome. Same magazine capacity. It does have a really nice adjustable rubber butt pad. It's got a dual scope rail, so you can add 11 millimeter dovetail rings or Picatinny optics. Manual safety, you have one large easy to read gauge for your air tank pressure and another for your regulator. It's got a Picatinny accessory rail under the forearm for a bipod, or in this case, I think uh, adding a foregrip would be awesome. It's got a Foster Quick Disconnect fill port built right into the gun, so no fill probe required. You're gonna get a quick disconnect fill adapter two magazines and a hard case, as well as a single shot tray. The barrel length on this bad boy is 16.5 inches and an overall length of 27 inches. It weighs just 7.3 pounds. This thing is 90% metal. There's some polymer on the stock part and the grip, but this is just a big solid hunk of metal. Very, very nice. You know, I handle a lot of guns and I'm telling you, this is a nice rig. If you paid the price for this, I am 100% guaranteed you would be happy. I was able to get my 13.43 grain as well as my 14.35 grain pellets going 890 feet per second, no problem. And it's extremely accurate up to 50 yards. So what more do you want? And it gives you all this for a price point that is about half of what you'd pay for a really nice PCP. So I love the price point. I think it's a very fair price. You know, you really can't tell how nice these guns are from looking at the picture. But I'm telling you, this thing is badass. Like I said, my only complaint is that you can't turn it up to shoot 18 grainers. All right, I got the uh, little compact guy right here. And we got 13.43 grain. And then these are 14.3 grain, which would be the same as Crossman and Premier's. And I was about to say, I'll try to squeeze enough power out of this gun to get the 15 grains going. But it looks like we are maxed out. 
on the regulator. We're maxed out in every position except this is one notch down. This throne compact fits perfectly in my rifle rest and I went ahead and adjusted my butt pad down a little bit so I'm all set. We're at a very special 35 yards away, nailed it. Go ahead and side in right here, see where we hit. Better try that again. Ooh, slip on the trigger, but tell me what I need to know. That should be it. Yep. All right, let's pick a different bullseye. Darn it, that was our last small one. We'll do this guy right here. This thing is so solid in my rest and just such a solid gun. I love shooting this thing. Look at that, you guys. Drilling dime-sized hole at 35 yards. Yeah, I need to click up on it. But we're shooting for group. All right, you guys, I do want to try the 14.35 real fast. See where we hit. Yikes. It's common that the 14.35s will fly faster than the 13s. I think it's because of the seal in the barrel. All right, should be sighted in for the 14s. How Philly, it's gonna shoot these just as good as the other ones. Darn it. Could have had a bent pellet on that one. Dang, you know, that's about a perfect group if you ask me. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty good. Let's see if we can do a perfect group real fast with these four teams. There we go. That was a good shot. This has got to be one of the easiest guns to shoot. Extremely easy to hold still. Look at that, you guys. Same hole in it. Do one more and we got it. There you go. 14.35 grain. That's going to be my official group. Good stuff. Real quick before we get to the 50 yard shooting, here's a look at the trigger, the charging handle, and a couple other things. At first I thought the safety was kind of weird, but then after using it, I think it's one of the coolest safeties I've ever come across. I really like it. The trigger, I don't recall if it was two stage or single stage. It appears to be more of a single stage trigger. Still very smooth though. It's coming in right at five ounces. And then here's a look at the magazines. You're gonna get two of them, as well as a single shot tray. But they just load exactly like a Marauder magazines. You're gonna take the clear cover, spin it in the direction of the arrow. That'll take the inside wheel with it. Turn that baby over, put a pellet in backwards, and then that's gonna hold your wheel in place. You can go around and fill in all the other spots. And then you'll have a full magazine. Here's a look at the charging handle. It's got sort of a drop down charging handle. You just barely touch it and it pops out by itself. Super smooth cocking. Snap about down into place and you're ready to fire. You always want to leave your air gun decocked when you're storing it. To decock the throne too, you just pull the charging handle back, grab it, pull the trigger and let it down gently and then it'll be decocked. That's the safest way to store your air gun. There's another quirk that you need to know about the throne too. You always need to store the Throne 2 with your air pressure below the regulator pressure. But the trick of it is you don't want to store PCP air guns empty, so you need to have it full of air, but less than the regulator pressure on this particular PCP. All right, let's get back to the shooting. All right, now we're out the window at a very special 51 yards away. All right, I'm gonna go back to the 13.34 grain. See if well, we hit. I think we're going to start to be affected by the wind now that we're at 50 yards shooting these lightweight pellets. Now that was the same hole, so I think I just need to concentrate a little better. Yep. 
Nice shot. Darn, I thought we were gonna get a dime sized group. Let's just keep clicking around and we'll get one. All right, see if this one goes in the bull's eye. There we go, that's more like it. Yep, we got it. All right, let's do an official group. Damn it, that was me. There we go. All right, let's make this official. I got enough practice now. All right, you guys, I'll take that. That's a dime-sized group with a little fly-fly. So let's do it one more time. It's just a little more difficult to shoot these short-barreled guns, you know? You gotta really concentrate and have your things squared up. Like that. There it is, you guys, dime-sized group. You just gotta concentrate. 14.35 grand. On my way out, I did want to mention these guys have an awesome manual that comes with the Throne 2. It goes over every last thing you could ever imagine from how to unjam your Throne 2. Just super, super thorough. So if you read your entire manual, you're going to be an expert on this gun. All right, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Till next week, happy shooting. We'll see you on the next one.